Hi guys, and welcome back to Kelly All Day. Thanks so much for stopping in. So in today's video, guys, I am finally in my kitchen. There's a couple areas that have been going, help, help me, please. <laughs> and today's finally the day. As you can probably see, this is definitely a typical Saturday. The kids are home, everybody's in the house, but I just had to get this done. Y'all see this? Can y'all tell that I have kids? M&Ms and Cheetos <laughs> in the back of the fridge. Y'all, it's not as horrible as I anticipated. I thought it would be way worse, but I have not been in this kitchen the way that I should in a minute. Um, my goal for today is to just kind of not a full deep clean, but just kind of clean up a little bit. Um, I've been trying to fix that little space on top of the fridge. It's completely empty. I've been trying to decorate that forever. I have new curtains that have literally been sitting um, out just waiting to be put up but I have just been so busy. This has been the busy time and I just haven't had time. So today I was like, you know what? I don't care what's gonna get done. This is gonna get done today. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> What areas are you working on in your house right now? Comment down below and let me know. And let me know what you're doing. Home goods got me again, but for $16.99, I was not complaining. I was really happy with that sign. And these curtains came from Target. Very, very cute. I really like those. This sign came from Hobby Lobby and it was 50% off. So I was super excited about that. Speaking of Hobby Lobby, have you guys been lately? Their spring finds are adorable. If you need some good finds right now, I think it's 40% off the spring shop finds. And if they have any Easter left, it's 90% off. I was able to get this beautiful wreath for 90%. So definitely check them out if you need some stuff. If this is your time returning, thank you so much for stopping in again. I really appreciate it. And if this is your first time here, hey guys, my name is Kelly and I am a shopper. I do shop with the me's. I love the discount stores, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Home Goods. I pretty much love anything cute and I love a great deal. But I do do some home stuff from time to time like this. So if you like this kind of content and you're not yet subscribed, be sure to click to subscribe, like, and share. I'd love to have you here. Do y'all see the tape on that extender? That is hilarious. My husband brought that to me and I laughed so hard, <laughs> but it worked. It totally worked. We need to patent that thing. Thank God for a dusting handy husband and Clorox wipes, right? Loving my sign, it just brings your eye up to the ceiling and it really like fills that space nicely. Super happy with that. Now I was just trying to figure out how to put these other pieces that they would be visible, but not in the way. Do you guys decorate on top of your fridge? If you do, comment down below and let me know what you put up there and if you change it seasonally or not to match the rest of your decor. Comment down below. I'm interested to know. Loving my Happy Spring canister. It is so pretty and I love that it makes the flowers pop even more. Definitely cute together. So this sign came from the Dollar Tree. Love the sign. I know it's more Easter-y than anything, but I didn't have anything else. And I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna go buy anything right now. I'm so proud of myself for that. 
<laughs> Either way, when I find something that belongs up there, I will switch it out. But for right now, I am feeling some kind of way. I'm feeling happy with this. All right, y'all, I had to get creative because the riser that the canister is on is way too tall. You can actually see it down below and it looks kind of weird. So I was looking at the coffee bar and I was like, oh, I might be able to use this sign. Yes, I think I will use this sign. So I literally flipped the sign over and I was like, bam, that works. <laughs> <laughs> One less riser I gotta find, y'all. I'm telling you. You know how they say that the dryers eat socks? I got something in my house that's eating risers. Do y'all have that problem too? <music> Guys, love these curtains, but they have literally been there for five years. I am not exaggerating. It has been the same curtains for five years. And I didn't know exactly what I wanted to do, but I was like, you know what? I'm putting my foot down. I'm buying curtains today. And I bought them. Um, but I was so excited to finally have something different up there, right? You just need something different every once in a while. Speaking of big difference, have you changed anything in your house recently that's made a big difference? Loving my Mrs. Myers window cleaner. It does a great job and it smells amazing. I will use like half water, half vinegar, and that does a great job as well. But it's just something about using the same products to clean. It just makes your house smell all the same. It just smells extra nice. It's like a treat for me. What are your favorite cleaning products? Is there anything that you particularly love or you have as a staple always? Let me know. excited was I at this point because I had not measured the window I literally just went to Hobby Lobby and I was like you know what I really like this I feel like it would fit great it fit perfect we didn't even have to patch up the holes or anything such a great fit and I love it so super cute and I also feel like it brings your eye up towards the ceiling more so it makes it actually look a little bit taller definitely cute dryer sheets to clean the dust is that something that y'all do it definitely helps Typically, I will iron those before I put them up just because I don't like the way the lines look. Um, but I wasn't sure if I was keeping them or not. So I was like, Ugh, if I iron them, number one, it's a whole lot of work that I really don't want to do. And number two, it's not going to fold nicely. So I just was like, you know what? Let me put it up. Let me see what it looks like. Let me get a feel for it first. I like, I like, I like. I wasn't sure that I would love, but I really do like it. It's definitely different from before, but I feel like it opens up the space and it brings more light into the kitchen. So very cute. Hashtag real life. Hashtag this is my island on Saturday morning. <laughs> it just seems like my island in my dining room table or my eating kitchen table is where everything goes no matter what happens it's ah it lands right there but either way i am just putting everything away as much as i can and y'all y'all see i'm dancing i have to have on some music while i'm doing something or cleaning is that something that you guys do if you do comment down below and let me know and if you have certain music that is what you call cleaning music drop that below again y'all look at me i'm going at it again
All right now. Shake it up, shake it up, shake it up now. Shake it up, shake it up, shake it up now. <laughs> If you have a weak stomach, now is the time to look away. Gross, gross, gross. Ugh. Guys, this is just the very bottom ledge of the dishwasher. And I don't care how clean I keep it, this little piece is just constantly gross. So we're always wiping that, always cleaning that. What area in your house do you feel like you're always wiping, always cleaning? After I wipe everything, I typically take the baking soda and I'll sprinkle it down the bottom and then I'll put a cup of vinegar, just white vinegar inside the dishwasher and just go ahead and turn it on as hot as I can do it, um, steam wash, all that good stuff and just let it go. And then that way it could kind of disinfect and clean everything. Um, and that seems to help. And that cuts down on like smells too, because sometimes it just smells like food after a while. So I make sure that I do this every once in a while. How do you guys clean your dishwasher? Loving my window. I feel like I'm getting so much more light, so bright, happier feeling. Cleaning my sink, believe it or not, is something that I actually don't mind doing. Don't tell my family that. <laughs> But I really don't. I love to clean the sink. I think because it's satisfying and when you're done, you look at it and it's shining and you're like, oh, sparkle, 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 glitter, glitter, glitter. <laughs> oh my goodness. But I do use the baking soda as well. And I will do my Mrs. Myers and then like a bleach spray. Um, I always use a separate sponge to clean the sink, but it looks so good when I'm done. I love to look at it. Where are all my sink cleaners? If you're a sink cleaner with me, raise your hand. Oh, I see you. I see you too. <laughs> I might be doing too much, but I do like to spray with a cleaner and then also go back and wipe the countertops and the backsplash, the tile backsplash with a solution with water that seems to really work for me and I feel like I don't have any residue on the countertops after that. What do you guys use to clean your actual cabinets? I have yet to find something that I love. Um, usually it's just like some soapy warm water and some solution if I need it. Um, but I have not found anything that I love. So if you have something you love, comment down below and let me know. Dance break. So although I have a coffee bar, I also have this little coffee corner. We actually have two Keurigs. We bought this one a long time ago and we love it and it has all the options. And then we bought a smaller one, but it doesn't have as many options. So we keep them both up. So I have two areas to decorate, which I am so excited about and I do not complain about. So this one I will decorate separately from the other one and it could be different themes. It just gives me more stuff to do and more things to do it with. Do you guys have kitchen coffee bars or coffee stations? Most of these little signs came from Hobby Lobby or Michaels and I love them. So super cute. Um, I bought a lot of the stuff when I did my tear tray video, but love this mini teacup. It came from Hobby Lobby and it comes in different colors too. So super cute.
Speaking of tier trays, have you guys done one recently? If you have, let me know your theme down below. Loving my little coffee corner with the bright yellows. How cute, right? Definitely feeling like spring and not so much like Easter anymore, but so very cute. Guys, it's just something about having fresh flowers and you could really find them inexpensively. These came from Lytle and they were $8.99. Yes, they were from Lytle and they were $8.99. Aldi sometimes has some really nice flowers and also like my regular local Kroger has some good stuff. So I like to treat myself every once in a while. They just are just, they're just happiness, right? So very pretty. How beautiful, right? And y'all, Mother's Day. Mother's Day is basically here. They would make for a perfect Mother's Day gift with like a candle, right? Such a good idea. Typically, I put my fruit in a bowl, but because I have this Be Happy already, I was like, oh, I could use it. And y'all, look, my coffee station, it is still all bunnied out. It is time to change it. It's time to do it. I'm not quite ready for summer, but I am quite ready for Disney. So you guys know that I love Ariel and recently I just found my Ariel mug. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I am so happy that I found that mug. So I'm not quite ready to bust out summer yet, so I was like, you know what? I could display my Ariel and all my Disney princess stuff. I just came back from Disney. I could have all of my stuff out and enjoy that until I put out the summer stuff. So that's my plan for the coffee station. Till next time, my bunny friends. Loving my Olaf. So I picked him up at Disney a few weeks ago. I will link that video in the description box of this one if you want to see it. But I thought he would be super cute as well. So I plan on putting candy in him. I don't really have anything that I love right now, but that won't be hard to find. Look at him. In summer. <laughs> So I am in love with my Ariel mugs. I so love them, but now I have a new in search of. I have yet to see any of the Ariel mugs with the mermaid topper. I have not seen one of them in person yet. So that is what I'm gonna be on the lookout for. What are you guys in search of this week? And if you aren't in search of anything, what did you find? I wanna be where the people are I want to see want to see them dancing I love her I am so happy I found that mug so very 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 cute so I just put out all my princess mugs um, I still might come back and add some more stuff to it because I have these cute little figures so I may do that but for right now I am completely happy with this Olaf he likes warm hugs he's so cute <laughs> no more bunnies check I'm feeling good I'm feeling accomplished on to the next So these plants I picked up probably like a week or so ago and I wanted to put them in new pots. One of the pots um, I had outside on the patio and the done pot I had inside the kitchen but that plant the roots are all coming out it needs to be repotted. I will just put one of the new ones inside of there and sit them in the windowsill. I love it when plants sit in the windowsill. So beautiful. I 
love using plants as inexpensive decor. How easy is it to pick up a plant, put it in a pot and be like, bam. And it changes the whole space. Love it. Y'all, these bar stools, these bar stools, the bar stools. They don't look so dirty on camera, but they were kind of gross. They had some slime stains and some food stains. Ideally, I would love to replace them with something that is number one, probably darker and definitely easier to wipe and to clean. But we recently picked up this steamer and that has helped like big time, tremendously. Guys, this was completely satisfying. Like, I enjoyed doing this. I felt like I was actually getting something done and it was fun at the same time. I love that this little brush pops off and then it's able like to really suck up everything. Oh my goodness, so satisfying. Look at that, look at that. I believe this machine was like $89.99 um, at Walmart, but definitely a great buy and I don't regret it at all. Can you say grossly satisfying? <laughs> Is that even such a thing? Oh my gosh. y'all it's so much better it is so so much better and i feel good that was one of the things that i definitely needed to do i love changing out my soaps and i love this bright yellow that matches the other colors in the kitchen guys what do you use to clean your fridge i've seen the wipes um and those look good but i wonder do they do as well as just the traditional spray with the cloth comment down below and let me know what you think much much better so much better let's see how long it lasts <laughs> Before, and after. So much better, right? You can even see that the table's cute. You couldn't even see it before. Guys, I am all done in here. It feels physically so much better. Um, I didn't record myself mopping the floors, but the floors got done. The surfaces got wiped. I still do need to come back and do like a deep clean, but it just feels so much better and looks so much better. And I actually got um, some of the stuff up that I wanted to. I am feeling so good. Now, the rest of my house is another story, guys. All, pretty much everything. The dining room is full of furniture and pillows for the basement, for the patio update that we're doing. We got patio furniture in the house. We have so much planned for the summer and for the next few months um, that I'm sure you do not want to miss. So guys, if you like this kind of content and you're not yet subscribed, be sure to click to subscribe, like, and share. I would love to have you here. I upload new videos every Wednesday and every Sunday. You can also follow me over on Instagram at kelly.all.day. I post every day over there. And be sure to give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Thanks so much for being here today. I really appreciate it and have a great one, guys.